Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is just a quick overview of the Z-Pan dimensioning tool. This is the next version of the Z-Pan stair dimensions tools you can see here in my applications and component catalog. This is installed with the US Imperial uh, and metric installations, this macro here. And this is the new extension that's available for download that has a lot more options than the previous tool and I'll explain what those are. So first, if you're not familiar with the tool, what this does is it allows you the ability to come in and automate dimensions on your stair drawing with all the dimensions that you can see here. So this is the assembly here for this particular drawing, and this tool has gone through and added in all of these dimensions to the, to the nosing, it's given the, the rise and run spacing, the elevation dimensions, and all of that sort of information. So what we've done is we've improved this tool to work not just on stair assemblies as you see here, but also to work for stair stringers where these treads are just shown as neighbor parts. So if we take a look at this drawing here, this is this specific stair stringer right here within the model. Um, depending upon how your shop or your fabricator does things, um, this, this may be the use case for you. So what we've also done, if I come in and open up this tool, is that you can now clearly just easily define a filter of what the names of your treads were before. Uh, the previous tool didn't have a user interface like this. So we've added a user interface where you can define the tread, easily select the dimension settings that you want, and then also define the dimension styles that should be used. And these are just loaded in attributes from your dimension settings. So then when I have that all set up and ready to go, I can just click on create Z-Pan dimensions. And then I can zoom in here and just begin picking my points just like I would in the previous tool. So I'm going to pick the nosing point and the end of the stringer that I want to reference my dimension from. Uh, do the same thing here. And then because I have the option here to provide the... Um, the tread depth, I can just select those and let's go ahead and maximize that. So here you can see just in a few seconds it's gone through and added in these dimensions that I can click and drag and place and position wherever they should be. But I have running uh, dimensions to all my nosing points. I have my diagonal spacing, my horizontal and vertical spacing, uh, my elevation dimensions locating where all that information is. Um, so just to make it a lot easier to clean up the stair drawing. So the two main things that we've added to this tool is the nice new user interface to where you can uh, define your settings and click run. And it all also works now for neighbor parts if you have those uh, depending upon your shop settings. So this is available for download on the Tecla Warehouse. Please send us any feedback that you may have. And we hope you enjoy this new development.